Hey there, Stephanie Langston coming at you with yallwire.com here with Laura Bell Bundy at the Universal Offices. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm fine. I like talking with the microphone. Isn't it fun? Yeah. I can tell you're going to be a lot of fun. I'm naturally energetic. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> I like it. All right, you have a new record out, Aiken and Shaken. It'll be out uh, in April or May. It depends on how many people buy the single. A lot will. <laughs> a lot will. After this, anyway. So what is this? It's two projects in one? Uh, kind of. It's basically two records in one. Um, six songs on each side. So the Aiken side is sort of the slow, um, sultry, country side. And the Shaken side is all up-tempo, fast. You can run to it. You can dance to it. You can drive fast to it. You know, anything you want to do with it is a speedy activity. And then the Aiken side is, you know, chill out, wallow in your sorrow, make out, whatever. Wow. What made you decide to do two sides? Is there two personalities yes, to you? Yes, definitely. <laughs> You're getting the Shaken side right now. Awesome. Um, when I go home and I'm alone and I'm eating lots of chocolate, then that's my uh, that's my Aiken side. I think it, it represents my personalities very well. And also, I kept writing you know I, I would write like one or the other like really like sad acoustic -y, mm -hmm. and then really like like putting beats together and writing country songs over them do you know what I mean mm -hmm. so there mm -hmm. there was just um, two completely different ways of writing those different sides and um, and actually Jason Owen who's here so like you should just do two albums but then when we decided we could make one album and there was really two parts to it like an old record you know right. when you had a side A and a side B, side B. so yeah. that's kind of what it is that sounds very neat now a lot of people consider you coming from the big city to the country but really you're a country girl that went to New York and, and now you're back, back. Yeah. tell us that story yeah, I was getting back to my roots <laughs> no pun intended <laughs> I was a uh, I I'm from Kentucky, and uh, when I was a kid, I, I auditioned for a show in New York, and I got it. I was nine, and Radio City Music Hall does this Christmas spectacular. So I went up there, and I ended up living there, and I ended up getting another show, and I ended up being up there for about four or five years, and then I was 14 and moved back to Kentucky, and I uh, sort of had, you know, the normal high school thing, dated a linebacker, but I started writing a lot of poetry at the time, and then when I was 18, I decided that I wanted to live in New York again, because, you know, um, you know, if you're, I was going to go to NYU, and I was already comfortable with the city, so moving there at 18 wasn't as scary almost as like going to Alabama. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? It right. was like, well, I'm already familiar with this place. I already have friends there and um, and I'm gonna go. So I went there and I moved with a uh, friend of mine from Kentucky who was also writing music and we formed a band and uh, we were called Laura and Amber and we were, um, you know, we were like 18 year old blonde country singers in New York. Awesome. <laughs> Which sounds like a sitcom. <laughs> Um, and it didn't really work out for us because no. we weren't really in the right place. But uh, when I was there, I auditioned for, uh, I did a soap opera for a while, and then I auditioned for Hairspray, which was my first Broadway show. And then um, and then it all kind of got And then you rocked there. all kinds of Broadway shows after that. And then I did Wicked and, and Legally Blonde. Do you want to just do country music now, or do you want to stay on Broadway a little bit? I mean, right now I'm really focused on the music. I... I I put it on hold for so long, you know, and, and in between, I, I did a, an independent record in between doing Wicked and Legally Blonde, and I got in touch with, you know, writing alone and, and being a solo artist, and and uh, and I got that bug, and then I had to put it on the back burner to do Legally Blonde, which was definitely a dream of mine, but now that I'm here, I'm really, really enjoying it, and I just like to stay in this moment if I'm allowed, you know? Yeah. Uh, and I, I'm going to make concerts that are just as entertaining as Broadway shows, hopefully. Right. <laughs> um, and, you know, and then I'm working on a, a Broadway show that has um, country music in it. So. Is that all you're going to tell us about it? No, I'm not going to tell you about it I right now. I can tell. You're sealing <laughs> the lips. So this is your first time um, getting to participate in some of the CRS festivities? Yes, definitely, yeah. How's that going for you? You well, got to perform earlier? Yeah, last night we there was a party, and then tonight, uh, today I got to perform at the Ryman, which was the first time, and I was so nervous. Uh, and it was the first time that I had sung the song that I sang live. So that was also nerve-wracking. So I was just, in general, pretty nervous. But what was amazing is they have all the artists on the Universal roster that are performing. And uh, that's they're phenomenal. Just, that's pretty humbling. Yeah, so Sugarland, Vince Gill, Julianne, any of them your favorites or your well, idols? My, my favorite song was the Jamie Johnson song. He sang, That's Why I Write Songs. I was like, oh, are you kidding? Um, and then uh, Vince Gill is amazing. And, but uh, Leanne Womack is my favorite country 
that female country voice. So did you feel extra pressure performing in front of radio totally. people? Totally. It was so much more nerve-wracking than doing a Broadway show. That's so wild. Well, yeah, because, you know, I mean, right now, um, I'm trying to get these guys to play my song. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you know, of course I'm like... Pressure. Yeah, and, you know, and also it's like, you there is, you know, there's going to be that stigma of like, oh, the girl that was at Broadway and is coming back, you know, and it's like, listen, people, I've been singing this before I went there, you know, and, I, and it feels like an extra struggle to have to go back. Nobody would have cared about my country music if I hadn't done a Broadway show. There you go. So. I think you're making the right choices there. Tell <laughs> us about this fan-based video contest oh, that you God. have going on. <laughs> this is the most amazing thing ever. <clears throat> Somebody had a brilliant idea here to do a contest um, who, uh, you know, basically the dance part of getting on up is to, you know, to see who would turn in on YouTube the best getting on up video of them doing the choreography. The well, the, we've had people turn in like the exact choreography that I've done, kind of like a little bit off, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, and they're alone. But then we've also had these like people who uh, dance at like line dancing places creating their own dances to it. There's like three or four different line dancing um, routines to <laughs> Giddy On Up. My favorite was the all a female, all Asian group. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was pretty incredible. And I don't even know where they're from. I don't even know if they're from the United States. <laughs> so how's this contest work? They make a video, you watch it, you pick five, they come here and do it with you. I, I teach them the real routine. And hopefully, if uh, if one of these line dancing places wins, they can teach me their line dance because that would be fun. And we maybe we make make an official line dance for it. That sounds like maybe so much that fun. should be like a whole other competition. It's like the official line dance for getting on up. So people can still register on YouTube. Is that yeah, where you go? yeah. You just put your video on YouTube. I'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time and good luck with your new album and you. have fun here at CRS. Thank you. Hey, y'all. I'm Laura Bell Bundy and you're watching Y'all Wire. Hey, y'all. My name is Uni the Biscuit and you're watching Y'all Wire. Hello. Uh, my name is Show Cantel Brown and you are watching Y'all Wire. Oh, grr. hello. My name is Tatiana Slavich Slavich Lenich, and you are watching the All Wire. My name is Mamut Greenwood, and you are watching the All Wire. Thank you very much. Hi, y'all. My name is Just as Good, and you're watching the All Wire, because it's just as good as ABC. <laughs> Hola, ¿cómo estás? Me llamo Emma. Gretion. You are watching your wire. Hi guys, I'm a squirrel. And thank you so much for watching the wire. It's really a really great thing to watch when you're bored and you can't find any nuts together. <laughs> <laughs>